Hi, Mr. Wright here, and welcome to this film in which I'll take you through my grade boundary predictions for the Edexcel Maths IGCSE exams in November 2025. If you are sitting your Edexcel Maths exams in November 25, then please do hit like, tell me you're watching, and help YouTube spread this film around all those to whom it will be relevant. Now, if you are taking your Edexcel Maths IGCSE exams in November 25, you will no doubt know what your exam dates are. You've got paper one on Wednesday the 5th, and then a couple of days later on Friday of that week, you've got your paper two. Now, in between those two papers, I will release a film that predicts which topics will come up on paper two, because of course, once you have Wednesday under your belts, we will know what topics have come up on paper one. So subscribe to the channel and then you will be able to access that predictions film for paper two dead easily. So you've got your two exams in November and then we have a results day on the 22nd of January. Right, let's crack on with this. Now I have lots in place to help you get your best grade in November. And first of all, here is my YouTube channel. Now here it is, and everything on here is specifically aimed at the Edexcel IGCSE maths exams. Now at the top there, you've got some films which are relevant to you if you're sitting in November, and of course that will those number of films will go up over the next few weeks. If you are aiming for a particular grade, you can access collections of IGCSE questions aimed at that particular grade here. And there are lots of past paper walkthroughs for you too. And then beneath that, if you want to revise a particular topic, you can find that topic amongst the algebra, number, shape and space, handling data or graphs playlist. So you can find that topic, access the playlist, and in that playlist, you will find lots of how-to films and also lots of IGCSE questions on that topic with video walkthroughs. So there's a YouTube channel for you. I hope you'll find it useful. Let me know if you can't find what you're looking for. Now, the last thing we should look at before we look at the grey boundary predictions are the live revision sessions that you might like to join in the run up to your November exams. Now, these are aimed at those of you who are sitting higher and you can see that there is a live revision session for paper one for those of you aiming for a grade four, five, and a different one for those of you aiming at grade six, seven, and a different one for those of you aiming for grade eight, nine. Now, if I were you, I would definitely see if you can't come to those. Um, if you're aiming for a grade eight, nine, you might want to come to the six, seven, one, and the grade eight, nine, one. But in each of these exam revision sessions, I will run through questions on the predicted topics which hit the grade that you're aiming for and also I will pack them full of exam techniques as well. Now I'll put the link for this page in the film description. It's not expensive to come, it's $14.99 to attend the 90 minute session. It's really not expensive. In the summer pupils found these are really worthwhile so I would urge you to come. What I don't want to happen is for you to miss your target grade by a few marks and then afterwards to think, gosh, that could have made all the difference. And some of last year's students said how it made all the difference to them. In fact, we managed to predict a couple of the questions that came up, almost the exact questions that came up in the paper one last year. And that was brilliant for the students who were there. And then the last one on the list here, the 6th of November, that is a revision session, which is between paper one and paper two, so we will just be focusing on the topics that haven't come up on paper one. So please, please, please consider coming to those. Right, the grade boundary predictions. Here we go. Here are the grade boundaries for each grade from three up to grade nine for every set of IGCSE Edexcel maths exams that have been running on the current syllabus. So these are all the grade boundaries from June 2018 all the way to the summer of this year. And so you can run your finger down the column that you're most interested in, and you can see how the gray boundaries have fluctuated since 2018. Now remember, these are marks out of 200, because you're gonna do paper one and paper two. 100 marks on paper one, 100 marks on paper two, gives you a mark out of 200. So you can see, for instance, if you look top left, 
to get a grade nine in June 2018, you needed 149 marks, call that 150. That means an average of 75% on each of the two papers. Now, you don't have to score the marks equally. You could, for example, have got 80% on paper one and 70% on paper two. That would have been a total of 150, which would have given you that grade nine. So those are the grade boundaries from the beginning of time, if you like, and you can see how they have changed. Now, if I look at those on a graph, because some people find it much easier to think of these graphically, you can see that top blue line there is the grade boundary, the mark you needed to get a grade nine, and then beneath that a grade eight, a grade seven in gray, a grade six in yellow, beneath that a grade five in blue, a grade four, and then a grade three. Now, you see that dip in the middle, right? If I look at the top of the uh, blue at the grade nine, I see a 159 at the top, and then it seems to dip. In fact, the grade boundaries dip for every grade there. Well, that, of course, was COVID. So if we're going to make predictions for, the, for, for November 25, we probably need to focus just on the time after COVID. So that's the time to the right of that line which has just appeared. And so here is what is perhaps a more relevant graph and table. So this shows you the grade boundaries for every grade from grade three up to grade nine since COVID. And you can see the graph on the top and the numbers on the bottom. So this is the most useful graph we can use to predict November 25's grade boundaries. Incidentally, nobody knows what those grade boundaries will be, and we won't know until results day. So we are simply making a prediction. Now, looking at this graph, if I was going for a grade nine, I see no reason why that trend should not keep on going. You see how it went 152, 152, 163, 163, 172. Now, I'm not suggesting next year it'll be 172. I'm not suggesting that it works like that, but I do think next in, in November, it will be round about 170, 172. I don't see why it would come down. It can't go up much higher. Surely it can't go up much higher. Okay. Now, so what I'm saying then is to get a grade nine, you need, I reckon you'll need say 172 out of 200. That means that you can afford to lose 40 marks only on each paper. That is a tremendously high bar to reach, okay? So um, you would be looking at getting an average of 86% on the two papers, all right? Well, you'd be well deserving of a nine there. Similarly, a grade eight, I reckon, if you look at that, the line for grade eight and follow that trend, I reckon we're looking at about 144, 145, 146 for a grade eight. Okay, and a grade seven, well, it's gone up, hasn't it? 93, 107, 110, 117. Crikey, well, I don't see why it would be less than 117 in November. So I think these grade boundaries are going up and it's getting harder and harder to get the grade that you want. So get a grade six, that line seems to be flattening a bit. So perhaps it'll flatten 192, 192 sorry, 92, 93. Um, to get a, get a grade five, that blue line, let's say we stay on 68, that looks about right. Okay, and then for those of you who are going for that vital four, that vital pass, I reckon that if you assume that you need to get say 35 out of, sorry, I beg your pardon, I've read the wrong numbers there, to get a grade four, historically 38, 46, 44. So I reckon you want to be aiming at 46 to be safe. Well, I hate that safe. Maybe you should aim for 50. Maybe you should be aiming for 25% on each of the papers, okay, to get your grade four. So there you are. That's the um, record of grade boundaries after COVID. And those are my predictions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next film.